Hi, it's Mrs. Hughes here. Welcome clarinets. Um, the purpose of today's video is to play through all of your band music so you can play along with me. That way you won't feel like you're playing by yourself. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to warm up with a C major scale. Now we learned the first six notes of the C major scale. That is located on page 42 in your lesson book. And we are going to finger and say those first four notes, and then we'll play them together just in case if you need a reminder. So on page 42, the scale at the top of the page is the C major scale. And the first note, of course, is C. Um, there is nothing in the key signature. There's no flats or sharps. It is in 4-4 four, four time, which is common time, four beats in every measure. And let's finger and say each of the notes and then we'll play them together. So we have our clarinet. We wanna make sure the reed is on correctly, nice and straight and centered. We never wanna to touch the end of the reed. The ligature is nice and tight. I can see the little U at the bottom of the reed. Um, my bridge key is lined up and nice and even and all of my keys are playing great. I also wanna make sure when I'm done playing that I have Cheerio fingers I don't know if you can see my Cheerio imprints in my fingers. And that tells me that I'm covering all of my holes all the way. So let's finger and say the beginning of the C major scale together. So our first note is C, D, E, F, G, and lean key A. And back down, G, F, E, D, and C. Let's play that together. One, two, ready, here we go. Now we'll go back down starting on A. Are the first six notes of the C major scale on page 42. I also want to encourage you to take a look at the rhythm studies on page 43 and 44. Um, those are awesome for us to uh, review. However, for our time today, I'm just going to focus on our band music. So the first song we're going to play together is going to be Early Bird March. I'm going to play the first clarinet part. Remember, if you are not sure which part you have, in your music, it says in the upper left-hand corner, first or second. So if you have second clarinet, you can play along with me, but some of our notes will be different. Um, and the same would be of first clarinet. You can play along with me playing the first clarinet part while I play the second part, and then you guys will get to hear some really cool harmony. So I will start with the first clarinet part. I'm going to play the whole thing through without stopping. Before I do, however, I want to finger and say, just to review some of these notes. So for the first clarinet part, our first note is a G. I know I'm in 4-4 four, four time, which means four beats in every measure. And that G, of course, at the beginning of the song is a half note, so he's going to get two beats. Remembering that the same G when I get to measure four is going to get four beats because it is a whole note. So let's finger and say the first four measures together. Ready, go. G, E, G, F, E, D, D, E, F, D, G. Let's play that. One, and we'll play through the whole thing. One, two, ready, here we go. Measure five. Team. 
21. One, two, three, four. going to play through, I'm going to lower the screen so you can see my hands. Um, now I'm going to play through the second clarinet part for you. So if you have the first clarinet part, play along with this as well, because then you'll get to hear the harmony, which will be really fun. So here you go. Thank you. 
Great job, everybody. So that is the first and the second um, clarinet parts to Early Bird March. Now we're going to go on to Star Wars. So pull out your Star Wars music. And remember, you can rewind sections of this or fast forward sections. Um, the main thing I wanna make sure that you remember is to start every note with your tongue. Every note should start with a t, -t or probably more accurately on the read. It almost is the way that you would say the word the is the way your tongue is going to hit the read is the. So, uh, so we talk about that a lot in class. So just make sure we're always starting with our tongue and playing with a full sound. Okay. So here is Star Wars. I see that there's a treble clef because we play in the treble clef that we are in common time or four, four time, four beats in every measure. The first four measures are resting because there's that thick black line with a four over it, which tells us four measures of rest. So therefore we're going to start in measure five. But before we do, we want to remember there's some tied notes, which we know um, the tied notes kind of pulls them together. So we have two half notes tied together, therefore they will equal four beats. So we want to make sure that we remember the ties um, so that we add the values of the two notes together, right? And it becomes one long continuous note. Then on beat four of measure six, I see those really cool eighth notes. So those are our T, T notes that are twice as fast. So we wanna make sure that we count those eighth notes super carefully as well. So let's finger and say the first couple measures to kind of warm up and uh, get our minds back into the song and then we'll play it together. So here we go, measure five, we start with our C, which we know is thumb, one, two, and three. Let's finger and say one, two, ready, here we go, C. G, F, E, D, C, G, F, E, D, C, it's D. Because there's the two whole notes, which get four beats tied together. Okay, everybody. So let's play it. Here's measure five. One, two, measure five, ready, go. Measure 13 through 20, of course, have seven measures of rest. We'll skip that. Let's take the pick up into 21, which we know starts on a new note, which is low G. So every single finger is down. Sometimes those lower notes are a little bit hard to get. So just make sure we have all those fingers down. Let's finger and say, remembering I'm going from a G to an A, where I just lift that bottom finger. Finger and say with me. One, two, three at 21. G, A, A, F, E, D, C, C, D, E, D. A, B, G, A, A, 26, F, E, D, C, G, D, freeze. If you are playing the bottom notes at measure 27, which I'm not going to play, it will be E flat to B, which we know is D plus the side key to the low B, right? So it's E flat, B. So just keep that in mind, but I'm always gonna play the top line. All right, everybody, here is pick up into 21. One, two, three. <laughs> Twenty-five. 
to 51 to the end and this time I'm going to play the clarinet two part so we'll I'll play the second clarinet part 51 to the end one two 51 ready go <laughs> sure you guys knew how to count that those that were going to play the second part the bottom part um awesome that was so great you guys super cool so let's keep going um next we're going to do clarinet blues some schools we just started this other schools we have already played through this so um you just keep doing whatever you can do it doesn't matter you can just learn something new here or just play along the best you can, or if you don't know this yet and you're not comfortable doing it, that's okay too. So um, I'm going to just uh, finger and say the first couple measures to make sure that we're cool. And then we're just gonna kind of go with it here. There's a lot of really cool funky notes here. Um, we have that B flat in measure six and eight and 12. And of course that's our pinchy key. I feel like there's a glare. That's our pinchy key. That's that A and the thumb key in the back. That's our B flat, right, you guys? Um, and then I also see the second note in measure nine. We've got that low A who comes back in the end of measure 10 two, which is two on the bottom. And I think everybody else looks pretty straightforward. So let's try it. Let's finger and say the first four measures and then we'll play the whole thing, remembering that there is a repeat sign. When we play all the way down to measure 17, we repeat back to measure five and then go right to the end. Okay, everybody, here we go. One, two, on our F, go. F, F, F. F, F, measure three, E, rest, C, measure four, C, B, okay, let's play. One, two, playing, everyone, go. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. 
13. Rest. Sorry about that. We'll just kind of keep playing through it. Um, anyway, then at measure 17, there's four measures rest. And hopefully my clarinet will keep playing. Uh, we have 21. And of course, we're starting on that low G, everybody. So we'll start right on 21. We'll pretend we counted the four measures rest. One, two, ready. Here we go. Five, two, three, four, twenty-six, two, three, four, twenty-seven, two, three, four, twenty-eight, two, here is twenty-nine. <laughs> roll. We didn't really get through the whole thing yet, um, but just for the fun of it, we'll just play through it so that you can play along if you want to. Um, if that's about as far as you can go, that's okay too, but we're going to just finish with Bugler's Rule because I believe that that's in all of your packets. So for Bugler's Rule, we are um, looking at 4-4 four, four time, which is four beats in every measure. The first three measures are resting, and we can see that in our music because we've got that thick black line with a three above it. So um, just to remember that. And of course, we have seven measures rest right in the beginning as well. So we'll just kind of skip over those, but we know what those, those symbols mean, which is super important. And then one other thing real quickly, in the first measure, I see I have a rest and then eighth notes, which of course we count that with TT. So uh, just be careful counters when we're there as well. So we'll just kind of play through this and... Um, yeah, that'll be great. I'll meet you guys at the end. Hey, hey, check out measure 28. I see a whole note tied to a quarter note. I know that a whole note gets four beats and a quarter note gets one beat. And since they're tied, they become one big um, count of five beats. So just make sure we're really careful about that as well. So here we go. We'll start right on measure four and pretend we've counted the first three measures of rest. Here we go, measure four. One. Two, ready on our G's, rest, rest, and then we have seven measures of rest going right on to measure 12. One, two, measure 12, here we go. Rest. 
where we have our half note C's. One, two, 41, ready, go. Great. Hey, I would love to hear you play some bits of this, of these music um, pieces on Flipgrid. So please post on Flipgrid and I will be sure to answer you with a video. Um, I would totally love to hear you play. So everybody, great job. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope that you are doing well and um, I miss you very much. So thank you guys. Have a good one.